emergency can never be forgotten. Not because Modi led BJP continues to rake it up or because June 25th marks its 49th anniversary. It's because it was a rare political occurrence that marked several firsts in modern Indian history. From the arrests of opposition leaders to the absolute curbing of fundamental rights, the 21-month emergency from 1975 to 1977 under Indira Gandhi was indeed one of the darkest times. But what was the build-up to Indira Gandhi announcing the emergency? The primary reason was India's dire economic position in the 1970s. The country was scrambling with economic troubles, growing unemployment, rampant inflation and scarcity of food. Bihar faced a severe food crisis in 1966-67 and Maharashtra suffered from drought between 1970 and 1973. Most parts of India were struggling to make ends meet. By the early 1970s, India was witnessing significant political unrest. The country saw widespread protests against corruption, economic instability and unemployment. The most notable of these was the Navnirman movement in Gujarat and the Bihar movement led by Jay Prakash Narayan demanding the resignation of corrupt government and systemic change. Another significant event in the build-up to the emergency was the railways protest. Even as Bihar was ripe with agitations, the country was paralysed by a railway strike led by socialist leader George Fernandez. Lasting for three weeks in May 1974, the strike halted the movement of goods and people. Gandhi's government came down heavily on the protesters. Thousands of employees were arrested and their families were driven out of their quarters. The immediate trigger for the emergency was the judgment of the Allahabad High Court on June 12, 1975. The court found Prime Minister Indira Gandhi guilty of electoral malpractices in 1971 election campaign and declared her election null and void. This ruling threatened her position as Prime Minister and further fueled protests from the opposition. On March 19, 1975, Gandhi became the first Indian Prime Minister to testify in court. After the order by the Allahabad High Court, the Supreme Court on June 24 put a conditional stay on the High Court order. Gandhi could attend Parliament but would not be allowed to vote unless the court pronounced on her appeal. The judgment gave force to the JP movement demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. A day after the Supreme Court judgment, an ordinance was drafted declaring a state of internal emergency and the President signed it immediately. What followed was widespread human rights violations, censorship of the press and the arrest of thousands of political opponents which lasted until March 21, 1977.